Hello friends, I am Stramana and welcome back to my channel Sparkling Future. Today we will discuss about companion object. Before starting with the today's topic, I request all of you to subscribe to my channel and also please like, share, comment and hit the bell icon for the latest video notifications. Thank you. So yesterday we have seen the singleton object and hope you understood the concept very well. And today we will see the companion object which means that companion object is an object it which uh, will be there in the same source file as the uh, in this class name with the same name that means that the class name and the object name will be the same for the companion the when when there is a class name and object name with the same name then they both are called as the companions so for this class if the object is same we will say that this is a companion object for that class so what's so good about it is they can share the private members of each other okay and also no need to um, create a object uh, or something so we, we can uh, use the methods directly between the companion I mean the class and the companion object okay and uh, as we discussed yesterday uh, there is no uh, static method in Scala right so this is the alternative for that static method companion and uh, singleton objects are the uh, alternatives for the static in Scala so now let's look into some sa sample code to see how can we do that so now yesterday this is the singleton example that we have seen so today let me create a class companion example okay let me create an object with the same name as the class this is become the companion object to that class and let's say we have val a equal to apple val b equal to banana and let's say we have a defini uh, definition display inside this we are displaying the names okay so now how to call this one is dot display okay and let's say we have another object called C some some random name I'm giving okay and let's say there is one function called get name and str1 let's say and I am passing a string okay and inside this inside this I am saying that print ln is an n1 okay so here I, am, I have created a companion object and another object so uh, this another object is just for the I have created to show you the difference between companion object and the normal object how you will see this in this uh, uh, how it the both these both will be accessible from this class companion example and I have created I am creating another object at call e which will have main method this like this I'm writing just for your understanding okay just understand how the object I mean members class members or object members can be uh, shared between these objects and classes okay array of string and in here this is a class right so for this class you have to create the object and let's save it so now what we have done this is the main object of the where because this is the main method is there so now let's run this to understand what is going to happen yeah here we have created a new uh, I mean which is object object for this companion class this companion class has uh, this display method there is a function called to this display method which is there inside this 
companion object okay so if you see here uh, the companion object definitions the function definitions are being called as class name uh, object name dot function name that's how we do and now similarly let's call this from from the class C let's call and we have to pass a string right kangaroo will put it class name this is the object name so object name dot get name is the function inside this object C and I'm passing that function now I'm running this program we will see that uh, uh, the both are getting printed because in the main class we are calling both this is this uh, this is from the companion object and this is from the another object now what is the difference between these two then means the main difference comes here and let's say we have defined this display as the private okay and then even same for this one if you say private here in the object C it will give us error saying that method get name in object cannot be accessed outside of this object that is because this is different object and this is we are trying to access that objects members outside of this object that's why it is showing that error until it is public it is accessible to the other classes or objects but here if you see even though I have given it as private it is accessible here there is no error is displayed here that is because companion objects companion class and object they both can share private members between each other that is a main difference I mean main advantage of using the companion objects so in Scala you might have seen right using the lists in the previous videos we have seen about data structures lists, sequences sets and uh, everything like uh, uh, how to use that and also when you have noticed right when when uh, uh, while declaring that you might have noticed right uh, I'm simply writing for example okay let's say val a equal to list of 1 2 like this you might have noticed that we have declared this way but when you when you do the same in Java it will not accept you have to create the object of that list by providing the new keyword whenever you are using a list or anything you have to use the new keyword for creating the object first even for creating a list you have to use that new but here it is not required that is because because this companion object concept so list is a companion object which will uh, which uh, automatically I mean no need to create the object for this so directly we are able to access the list in the class okay so uh, when when you up uh, I mean submit for the running right this program S Scala internally applies the apply method dot apply method for this for whatever for example if this is a display we are sending right so even here inside apply it will try to apply it in the compile during the compilation which means that apply is a factory method uh, which means that uh, um, which will have the main functionality for running the code internally okay so uh, even when you are sending a list or even here if you are sending display internally it converts that to apply and and then it applies the static or non static or whatever based on the uh, program uh, behavior okay that's why externally explicitly we don't have to specify static it internally does that but uh, high level we don't have to put that static here okay so that is the advantage of using the companion you don't have to mention static or uh, no need to instantiate the class so uh, object okay so now you got the difference right so here we are able to now let me run this code and show you the difference also here we have created the private uh, function here but still we are able to access this uh, access and uh, display this uh, strings whatever we are passing to that private function and this one anyway it errored out when I uh, mentioned it private here itself it error it gave the error here so I have removed this private 
so now you understood the concept hope you are understood the concept so just to summarize what we have checked right so companion class and object can access each other private members and uh, we can create uh, we can uh, create uh, new instances without using the new keyword so no need to use directly we can use the functions which means that see here for a class we created right new instance but here without even creating we are able to access the object members okay and we can also create uh, multiple constructors using this one so here inside that we can have apply method apply usually factory method so that is mm, that's why we most commonly use that and that apply method can be overloaded and uh, we can send the uh, we can use it in in the uh, companion uh, object and companion class okay and what is the main benefit is uh, it is for mainly used for the encapsulation you might have known right in java that object oriented concept encapsulation that's the main benefit uh, for you by using this companion object and uh, no need to add static keyword for each and every content okay um, like no need to add at all uh, in java when you compare any code you will clearly see the difference and companion objects uh, provide a clear separation between static and non-static methods in the class like in underlying uh, this one right uh, the apply and unapply methods so we just discussed so like that it will uh, um, separate uh, do the segregation internally so you don't have to specifically mention static or non-static and all in the code so this is what is the concept of companion hope uh, this is clear to you friends hope you understood the concept well Thank you for watching the video. Please subscribe to my channel for more interesting learnings. Thank you.